In this video, I'm going to show you uh, what batik is and how we do it here at Wax On Batik and Dye Studio. So here's a finished piece. This is a beautiful rayon blouse um, where we have done some batiking on the front. So what this means is uh, anywhere that hot wax goes, it keeps the dye from penetrating the fabric. So this shirt actually started white and what I used was a metal cookie cutter. It has to be the kind of metal that transmits heat. Um, and what I did is I dipped it in the hot wax, shook off the excess and actually stamped right onto the white t-shirt in these four places. Now you can come up with any design you want to. Oftentimes clients come in not knowing what they want to do, but they just start playing with all the different tools that we have. We have metal cookie cutters, we have wooden bits and bobs from all over uh, where, whatever you can find around the house, and there's even some custom cut wood pieces that I've turned into a stamp just by putting a push pin in. You can also paint on wax with um, paint brushes. So first I dyed these yellow, and I dyed these orange, and then you have to let it cure for about 24 hours. Once the dye is dry, you can then paint over it and fill in all of the space with hot wax before going for your final dip, which is gonna be the background of the shirt. So you can see here these lovely crackles that we get in the wax. That is because here at Wax On, we make a custom blend of half beeswax, which is a natural wax. It's very bendy, very soft and sticky, and paraffin, um, which is a synthetic, and it uh, provides the crackle. So between the stickiness of the beeswax and the crackliness of the paraffin, you get the perfect batik um, wax. So after that's all done, once the shirt is finished being dyed, we then boil the wax out in a big pot, and once it's cooled, we lift it out, we launder it, we dry it, fold it, and it's ready for you to take home.